everyone it's naturally bison as you can see I'm doing a flexi rod set um, I've done a flexi rod set in the past uh, they've actually come out pretty well this time I did it kind of in a different direction where it's coming from the center of my head down I don't know how that's gonna work um, it never fails that as many times that I've done a flexi rod set which I think is probably about 10 15 times now um, I always run out of flexi rods and then I go to the store and I buy more for when I do the next set and then I still run out of flexi rods. So I have orange pretty much all the way around and then I got right here with just this much hair left and ran out of orange even though I brought two more packs and I had to put the gray in. So I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but I will find out shortly. I'm definitely not sleeping with this mess in my hair, in my head rather, because um, it's very uncomfortable and they're very tight at the moment. So I'm going to sit underneath the dryer and then hopefully they'll be dry and I'm going to take them out and then I'm going to go to bed. So anyway, I'll come back when I'm done. See ya. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so the verdict is in and I used 61 flexi rods and actually my scalp is still kind of, I don't know, feeling tingly because of the tightness of the flexi rod. I did it on wet, natural hair to try to get it as straight as possible and I don't know if you can see this or not, but I also did very... I had so many flexi rods. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Because I, um, I did, if you see, I did such small sections because, again, since my hair is, um, tends to be very thick, especially in the middle, if I don't do small sections, it starts to look really frizzy. Um, my plan was not to wear this to bed because it's uncomfortable. It took me about three hours to do this. Probably would have took me more like just to put this, the rods in. It probably would have took me more like two and a half or two hours. But I had a visitor and then I also had, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. I kind of pulled my hair a little bit. I had a visitor and then I had a phone call I had to take. So I think I started at 7.30. I was done at 10.30. I probably could have been done by like at least 9.30. I don't even know. Yeah, this one's not done drying. Right here. So you're going to go back in the flexi rod. I don't even know if that one's done drying. So I'm going to go back under. You can see all of them. I think what I'm going to try to do, because I'm going to bed, and I'm sure they're not going to look like this in the morning. I'm going to try to just bobby pin them up. <laughs> and hopefully when I take them down and separate them tomorrow, they'll look a little bit better. So we will see. Um, and I'll be back in the morning. Good night. I'm back. Um, it's not morning, it's evening. I didn't get a chance to make a video this morning because I was running late for work. But I did take a couple photos, so I'm going to add it to the video so you can see what my hair looks like pinned up and what it looked like um, when I took the pins out. I actually didn't come out that bad at all. So this is how, this is the style that I did my hair in today. The curls are still very defined. My hair is very shiny. Um... And as I said in one of my other videos, I like my hair to be more defined than kind of all over the place. Um, I don't know. It's just my personal preference. So I'm hoping that because this style took me about four hours to do, four and a half hours to do, that I at least can get my whole work week out of it. So um, I'm going to pin it up again tonight. I will see, I'll take pictures each day this week that I wear it to work just to show you uh, how I can maybe still make it have a, kind of a more defined look. Um, it's just my personal preference. I love people that can wear it a little bit more, um, I won't say crazy, but just like a little bit more off and a little bit more volume. But again, I work for the court system in the law office and they already look at me crazy because I have so many different hairstyles. So 
who knows how they'd look at me if I had just like this big curly afro one day coming to work. So I try to keep it as tamed as possible. So my hope is to get through the work week with this hairstyle. But just to tell you what I used yesterday um, before um, doing the axial oil flex rod set. I, at the night before I washed my hair, I actually um, did an overnight hot oil treatment with castor oil. Um, my grandmother, who's a hairdresser, uh, my hair was starting to thin a little bit in a couple areas and I did some research on the internet and they said how castor oil helps for thinning hair and they said that you know if you do a castor oil treatment every week for six to seven weeks you should noticeably see a difference in any thinning areas in your hair so I figured why not try it it's a natural oil it should help and then I asked my grandmother about it who she's a hairdresser and she said that castor old school they used to use castor oil for that kind of stuff too so this is my second castor oil treatment pretty much what I did is I got a like a dye bottle poured the castor oil in it it's very thick um like I guess I, I don't think you can see it but it's not super thick but it's not a thin oil either and I just literally just squeezed it on my scalp and then rubbed it in pinned it up in four sections put a cap on it wrapped it up with a towel, walked around my house with a towel the whole time. Um, actually washed my hair before I um, put the castor oil on. Then I put the castor oil on, put the cap on, put a towel around my head to kind of make it like heat so I wouldn't have to sit underneath the dryer. Left it like that until I went to bed, slept with the cap on, and then got up in the morning, um, shampooed the castor oil out, and then did a black tea rinse which is supposed to help with shedding if you've been watching some of the other YouTube videos about black tea rinses I still really can't tell if it's helping with my shedding but I'm still trying it out to see and then after I did the black tea rinse because it's kind of like a protein I used this um, the IC olive I have a olive um, anti breakage deep conditioner to deep condition my hair um, and then I, um, and then I used on wet hair before I put, when I was sitting the flexi rods, I used the Miss Jessie's baby buttercream, um, frosting to set it. And I think that's what gives me this extra shine, which I actually like. My hair feels very, 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 very moisturized. So anyway, that's how I got the style. I will post some pictures for the next couple days to come. And um, hopefully this helps someone or hopefully I can see some different styles or you guys can make some suggestions. Thanks a lot. Have a good night. Hi everyone, um, this is day five, well really the end of day five. My hair was starting to look kind of really extra frizzy, especially around here in the neck and right around here on the edges. So um, it's Friday, I did get through the five days of the week with the actual flexi rod set, so I'm very happy with that. Um, on day four or the evening of day four, I did take maybe about four or five rods and I did like kind of this section here um, and also like a couple right here in the middle just because it was starting to look a little more frizzy than curl defined. That got me through to day five, which is today. Should have actually shown pictures or showed you what today looked like, but um, it was definitely time for me to do something different. And since I'm not ready to wash my hair and start that whole process again, I figured I would try to do like a faux hawk curly faux hawk thing for the weekend um, so as a result I decided to section my hair front middle back I put flexi rods in the front I put some flexi rods in the back and as you can see I left the middle 
just as it was. Um, you can still see some definition with the flexi rod, you know, with the curls. There is a little bit of, um, you know, you see like the, how the ends are, pieces are coming apart from the curls. But this will be the section of my hair with the faux hawk that will be kind of up here. So I'm okay if um, that's not as curly because it's going to be more pinned up tomorrow anyway than anything else. So that's why instead of trying to do like a whole reset of my curls, I was like, mm, that's not the way it's taking way too much time that I'm not trying to have. So I figured I'll just do the front, do the back. Probably took me about mm, 20 minutes just to kind of, I literally just sprayed it with some water, combed it through, parted it in three sections in the back, did four, four, and three. So that's a total of uh, 12 in the back, or 11, 12 in the back, and then um, I did like four or five in the front. So I'm going to sit underneath the dryer, I'm going to then take the curls out, and then I'll pin them up tonight, and then I'll be wearing kind of like a faux hawk for the weekend. So I'll take pictures for the weekend, let you see what that looks like, and then Sunday I either will be doing another flexi rod set for the week, or trying something new. So we'll see. But have a good night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.